everybody, Jessie Go here. Today's video tutorial is Bok Choy 101. That's right, I'm going to review the steps that I take in prepping my bok choy scraps to propagate new growth for another harvest. I went to the grocery store the other day. I bought some bok choy. This is a Shanghai style bok choy. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull the outer leaves. What I want you to do is take a look at your bok choy. And as you peel your outer leaves, I want you to peel the outermost leaf first. So you're not gonna peel a leaf from in here because that's just counterproductive. You wanna peel your outermost leaf first. And it's an easy peel. You just take it and you snap it off like so. And as you can see, bok choy or any greens from the grocer tends to be dirty. This is a little sandy and dirty, but I'm just gonna place it in a separate bowl here on the side. And then I'm gonna twist it again and find the outermost leaf. Perfect. Just snap it off. Just gently go around and snap them off, okay? And what I'm doing is I'm basically just making sure that this base here is intact. Because the base here is what has contact with the water and with the soil. And that's where um, the, the water and the nutrients enter the, the plant system. And what I found with the past um, harvest was the pieces that I ended up just cutting and chopping the head and letting it grow from the center. It didn't grow quite as quickly as the pieces that I left the innermost heart. So when I say the innermost heart, I mean like these tiny little light green pieces that are still like in a bulbous shape. Like they, they haven't yet opened um, like let's say this. Okay, so I'm not gonna chop the top. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna leave that inner center heart of the heart. Okay, you're gonna pull away the leaves and you're gonna try to do as clean of a job as you can. And when I say as clean of a job as you can, I mean taking away all the leaf. Like here, it's very clean, right? So when I say not clean, I don't just mean dirty, I just mean like a clean break. So for example, this piece here does not have a clean break. This, when you have it propagating in water, will, t will tend to rot. So try to just take those little pieces away. Do as best as you can. They just, that's the, those are the parts that turn to brown mush. They rot in the water and that's what makes the water unclean. The roots that I get when the one coming from the bok choy, they come from the bottom cut here. You're gonna take these, these bases, these stumps, and then you're gonna just place them in water. I like to use clear containers, whether it's glass. I like to recycle, so I, I tend to often use egg crates. I think that they're the perfect um, holding mechanism for the bok choy, for the celery, for the greens, whatever greens it is that I'm using. But I find that these plastic containers work really well. I recycle them and I, actually, I use them in my garden over and over until they start to deteriorate and break apart. I place them inside the egg crates. I'm gonna put a little bit of water, not too much water. I just want the base here to be sitting in water and in like three to four days, you'll notice root growth. Once you notice the root growth, you're gonna transplant it to soil. Um, what soil, you ask? I've had that question um, a couple of times. I use miracle Grow for the garden. There's definitely different kinds of miracle Grow. There's um, fast draining, cactus, orchid, container garden, garden, regular potting soil, potting soil for blooms. I mean, any of it is fine. It, any of the potting soils would be fine. 
Um, I use the one for the garden. I also enrich my older soils like that I've, that I've used from other pots of other things. I often tend to put compost in that as well. It just feeds nutrients into the soil, which then get transferred into the plant that's sitting in that soil. All right, so there you have it. It is the Bok Choy 101, the start of the series that was missing. I just wanna say, I don't claim to be a specialist or some kind of plant expert or gardening expert. This is all through just trial and error and working it out with um, what I have. Okay, how many times do I have to say I'm enjoying the process? So continue to watch, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram. Um, stay healthy, be healthy, eat healthy, and uh, yeah, you'll see me in the next video.